A Bradley police sergeant was desperately pleading for her life moments before a gunman fatally shot her with the officer's own gun, Kankakee County prosecutors said Monday. Kankakee County State's attorney Jim Rowe is seeking life sentences for Darius Sullivan, 25, and Zandria Harris, 26, who face a litany of felony charges in last week's hotel shooting that killed Bradley Police Sergeant Marlene Ritmanik and critically wounded her partner. He is pushing for federal murder charges to be filed against the two and for federal prosecutors to pursue the death penalty. Download our local news and weather app for iOS or Android and choose the alerts you want. Wednesday's incident unfolded about 9.56 p.m. when Ritmanik and her partner, Officer Tyler Bailey, responded to a noise complaint regarding dogs barking in a parked car outside the Comfort Inn in the 1500 block of North State Highway 50, Rowe said during Harris's bond hearing Monday. When Bailey found out the car had belonged to Harris, who he knows as an acquaintance of Sullivan, the officer met Ritmanik in the hotel lobby and asked a clerk whether there were any rooms under the names of Zandria Harris or Darius Sullivan, Rowe said. The hotel employee sent the officers to room 308, which was booked by Sullivan, who was wanted on outstanding warrants for failure to appear in court and had previously fled from Bradley officers who had tried to detain him on the warrants, Rowe said. The officers didn't receive a response from the room after their initial knock around 10.13 p.m. About a minute later, officers knocked again, this time with Bailey loudly saying, it's the police department and asking Harris to exit the room to address the complaint about the noisy dogs, Rowe said. Harris allegedly responded, yes, and indicated she would be coming out of the room. The officers knocked on the door at least three more times over the span of several minutes, telling Harris to come out, Rowe said. Each time, she responded saying she was coming. After about 14 minutes of waiting, Harris tried to squeeze herself through the door and close it allegedly in an attempt to prevent officers from taking Sullivan into custody. Ritmanik and her partner both repeatedly asked Harris to stop blocking the doorway, Rowe said. Eventually, Sullivan came around the corner in the hotel room armed with a 9mm handgun equipped with a drum clip, prosecutors said. As the police department in Bradley, Illinois, said goodbye to one of their own, the search continues for a man police say is connected to shooting an officer whom friends say loved her job. NBC 5's Chris Coffey reports. As Harris struggled with the officers, Sullivan pointed the gun and shot Bailey in the head, Rowe said. He then allegedly turned the gun to Ritmanik and shot at her as she tried to run away. Sullivan allegedly chased Ritmanik down the hallway before pinning her against a door. Sullivan struggled to unjam his gun using his right hand and mouth while also trying to disarm Ritmanik with his left hand, Rowe said. As the scuffle ensued, Sullivan called out to Harris, telling her to cock the gun, cock the gun, prosecutors said. Harris joined Sullivan, helping him successfully disarm Ritmanik. The two then stood over Ritmanik pointing guns at her as she laid on the floor, already shot once, Rowe said. She begged Sullivan not to shoot her. Sergeant Ritmanik was pleading with them to, just leave, you don't have to do this, please just go, please don't, please don't, Rowe said. She was desperately pleading for her life. With Harris holding Sullivan's gun, Sullivan allegedly fired two shots from what prosecutors believed to be Ritmanik's gun, striking the sergeant in the neck area. After the shooting, Harris handed Sullivan keys and told him, you have to go, Rowe said. Sullivan fled down the hotel stairwell before leaving in a vehicle. Meanwhile, Harris retreated to the hotel room, where she gathered her belongings and got her two children, who were in the room at the time, before fleeing, Rowe said. Ritmanik, 49, and Bailey, 27, were taken to hospitals in critical condition, and Ritmanik later died, police said. Bailey remained hospitalized Monday and is fighting for his life, Rowe said. Sullivan was arrested without incident about 9 a.m. by the U.S. Marshal's Great Lakes Fugitive Task Force after he walked out of a home in North Manchester, Indiana, a town about 35 miles west of Fort Wayne, Indiana. He remains in Indiana custody as the Kankakee County prosecutors await a governor's warrant to extradite him back to Illinois. Harris, accompanied by her attorney, surrendered at the Bradley Police Department about seven hours after Sullivan's arrest. During her bond hearing, Rowe said Harris actively assisted and enabled Darius Sullivan throughout the course of the murder of Sergeant Ritmanik and, attempted, murder of Officer Bailey, and she is equally responsible. Harris was denied bail, 